Hey guys, Gimme Trades here. Uh, doing my trade day video. Uh, as you can see, I sold three players during the night time. So I sold Martin, Nash, and Taves. So, got about five minutes left in the trade pile. So, alright, so we'll quickly check Hosa, who has four trade offers. So, start of the week, Zetterberg for Hosa, and no. Zetterberg has gone up, but Hosa. I bought him for 370, so it wouldn't be worth it. All right, so I got Phil Kessel, it's about 150. Tavares about 180, so that's 330. Cronwall, which I don't want, and Stall. It's a good trade offer, actually. I'll delay it. Uh, Giroud, 92 Giroud. No, I've seen him go for 290, 300, and Golagoski, so no. Uh, for this deal. Maybe if a Cromwell goes for maybe 50, 60k, but if it doesn't, then I'm probably not going to take it. I'd rather keep a Hosa than take four players. So, uh, Detroit. Uh, he's a left defenseman, I think. Yep, so 38, 45. Uh, no. There's one at 38, but there's no bids on it, so I'd rather not take that offer. I'll reject it, but thanks for the trade offer, it was really good. Uh, I got Star of the Week, or uh, Legend Gretzky, I mean. Control of Trade. And Pavlich, you at Christensen, Morrow. No, don't need those. Okay, moving on to Grabner, who has two trade offers. Uh, Voracek, Shifley, and Lannisgog, no. Nope. And we'll move on to the next one. So we got Daniel Sidney with three trade offers. So, a 93 Gretzky, yeah. So he was about 200. No, that doesn't worth Sidney's value. We got Troll Trade. Zidane Chara, who goes for around 300, 350. Mm. It's close, but. Uh, I don't need a Zidane Chara, so I'm sorry. It's a close trade. Uh, Havlai, who has one trade offer. Okay, he's just a troll trade. Uh, Le Cavalier with one. Okay, so... Gagne, Carl. Mm, that's not a bad offer. How much is Gagne going for? Because I know that at one point it was selling at 30k. I'll check that out. Uh, Centerman, Edmonton. I think. 27k. 60k. So there's not many in the market. Uh, I would say he's maybe 25k. So 25k. Matt Carl, I think, is about 20k. 50. Uh, you know what? That's an okay offer. Wait, let me just check the price of Carl. I might take that deal. So we got Matt Carl, who is on what team? I think Tampa Bay. So he's going for. 35k, 45, 28, 24, so buy it now, 24k buy it now, uh, 23k, 22k, there's just so many in the market, but that's the same as the Cavalier, so I would say maybe 20, you know what, that's a good offer, I mean, gain, Gagne goes for 25, Carl goes for 20, so that's 45, and he's giving me 10k pucks, and I've seen Le Cavalier go for 39 40 so you no, know, I'll take that deal. So enjoy your Le Cavalier, and I'll enjoy my players. So these guys will be up for my next trade day. No point in these contracts, I don't even use them. Just throw them in. Alright, I think I saw another one for Daniel Sedin, yes. Yeah, so there's one trade. So we got 
Gretzky, Bufflin, Ham Hughes. No, still doesn't add up. Sorry. Ham Hughes and Bufflin are only like what 15, 20k each, possibly. Oh, it doesn't even add up to 300. So we got Conacher, Hoodler. No, don't need those. I think Lubomir Brzezinski sells for more. Uh, got a trade offer for Martin St. Louis, none for Hasek. So we'll just check that right now. So a goalie training. 150k McCulloch. It's it's not a bad offer, but I I haven't seen Martin St. Louis sell on the market for a really long time. Like they're going up in value for sure. So I'd rather just keep him for now. So I got another one for Gravner. So Cody Hodgson, Sagan, and Conacher. Uh, I just don't want Hodgson. I know there's a lot in the market right now. So I would rather just keep my Gravner. Have left. Uh, Simmons, Warcheck, goalie coach. Like, he's a good goalie coach, but I don't think they add up to Havlat's value. So I'll reject that. Uh, Sedin again. Alright, just gonna reject those. Okay, so we got one for Carey Price. Okay, Cronwall, Anderson, Wolski, and Pavelski. 40. No, no. Like, Wolski is only 85 overall. I've seen Pavelski sell for 35, so it's not a good deal. Uh, now we have Fanuf. So Everly and AK, no. Uh, yeah, so. Alright, so now for Daniel Sedin. Zeno Chara, Aginla, Aginla, Girardi, 30k. I, I don't, adding these players is not going to help, so I'd rather reject that. Havlat, uh, we got Cody Hartz and Sagan and Conker. No, don't, just don't need those guys. Like, I don't need four players. Alright, so we got Carlson with three trade offers. So we got Stewart, Shattenkirk, Landis, Gog. So no, don't want that. Broder, Pominville, 7K. I know there's a lot of Broders in the market. Same with Pominville. So, no, I don't want that. Niemi and Horkoff, no. Alright, so moving on to Latang, who has one trade offer. Uh, Havlat and Fnuf. Havlat goes for 10K. Fnuf probably goes for 25. Oh, my camera is zooming in on me. So, no, I'd rather not have those guys. Got another one on Brzezinski. Toulouse and Purcell. Uh, how much does the Toulouse go for? Because I know he was going for a lot at one point. Uh, does he play for Carolina? I think center. Yep, yeah, Toulouse, 15k. 15, okay, there's a buy now for 15k. Purcell doesn't go for that much, in my opinion. Like, he's good, but... Edler? No. Purcell. Not a bad player. But no, I'd rather keep Wyshnowski. So, moving on to... Parise, who has two trade offers. So, Lundqvist and Nash... I just sold a Nash with 27k. Lankus, I think, goes for a lot just because of his name. Maybe 50k. So 50 and then 27k. Just doesn't add up. Even though it might, but I don't want to check. I don't want Lankus. Uh We got Pavelski, Booth. No. Don't need those guys. Okay, moving on to... No, no trade offers for these guys, and we got a trade offer for Marlo. So 91 Gretzky, is it not boosted? Yeah, LA1, and Bishop. Uh, I've seen Gretzky go for 110 in the market right now. And Bishop goes for 3k, so no, that doesn't add up. And we got the Wick. It's like a waste of legends, really. Just Cam Moore, Dubinsky, Umberger, no. Oh my goodness, my camera. 
Sorry, I, I'll have to fix that. Do the next video. But, okay, so we have Crosby left with 11 trades. Still 40 minutes left, but, uh... I'll do, I'll do it right after, in the next clip. I'm just gonna fix my camera, so... See you in the next clip. Okay, fix the camera. Okay, fix the camera, so... Now we got some more trade offers, so one for Martin St. Louis. So, Lucic and Kane. No, don't need those guys. Don't add up to his value. Uh, another one for Carlson. So we got Broder, Hort, and Pominville. Broder, I don't know how much he goes for it. I know he was re-released in a pack. So I think his value went down from 20-30k. So I'll have to check. So NHL bowling for New Jersey. Jeez, uh, tons of the market. 25k, 24k. He is 89 overall, so I would say 24k. Lou Cheech goes for about 10k, maybe 10k. So we got 24, 34, and Pominville. Just I don't need Pominville. Maybe if you threw in another player, then maybe I would accept, but I don't need those guys. So one for Latang, and just Henrik Sedin straight up. No, I don't need that. Sorry. Uh, Zach Parise with one trade offer. Nope. Vancouver sweater. Cromwell. Grandland, okay. Martin St. Louis again. So we got Simmons, Heverly, Lynn back. No. Just don't add up to his value. Like, it's gotta be a fair trade. Logan Couture. Jeff Skinner straight up. Uh, they have the same offensive stats. Kind of. But no. I don't want Skinner. Rather keep Couture. I probably could just sell him in the market for cheaper. Okay, so Hedrick City and Backstrom. Backstrom goes for maybe 8, 9k, maybe more, or maybe less. Hedrick City goes for maybe 40 at most. So, like. 50k, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that deal. Uh, Crosby still with 11 trades. Yep, and just these guys. So I'm gonna fast forward the clip until there's only about a minute left. So see you then. All right, so 50 seconds left. Okay, we got Carey Price start of the week. So Gabrick goes for about 90 to the hunt, 90 to 100. Uh, Kiprasov goes for probably 10k. It's 110, 120, 130. No. Uh, same trade offer, so no. Just wasting your own time. So I got Couture and Semen. I know Semen goes for 78k, but I know Couture's price is going up after the pack, so I'd rather reject that. Uh, next we have Latang, that's one trade offer. Henrik Sedin, Backstrom, and 2.5k? Nope. Just don't want Henrik Sedin because I know there's a lot in the market. Zach Parise, got Daniel Sedin, getting both Sedins here, so. Corey Perry, Richard Grammer. Like Richards for 10k, Perry, maybe 20 to 30. Daniel Sedin goes for probably 50, 40 to 50. So 50, 70, 80. No, I'd rather keep Parise, he's a good player. Uh, okay. Doesn't look like there's going to be any more trades. So, I'll show the Crosby. Oh, one more trade offer for the tour. Plukanic? No. Still don't need him. But yeah, I'll show the Crosby in the next clip. Uh, doesn't look like I'm going to get any more trades, so I'll show that in a little bit. There's still about 30 minutes left, but I'll check in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, I'll check in the last 10 minutes. So, see you then. Alright, so a couple more trade offers came in. Two for Latang. So, okay, Matt Duchesne, Purcell. I just checked the trade off, trade value of Purcell, which is about 10, 15k. Clutterbuck, I would say around 8k. So, you got about 23k, Matt Duchesne. Goes for about 25 to 35. So, no, I would. 
Not too bad deal. Uh, Henrik Sedin, Backstrom at 5k. Still don't want Henrik Sedin. You just don't want it. Uh, Parise again. Corey, Prayer, Corey Perry. Daniel Sedin, Richard Scrabner. No. Same deal, just... I just don't need them. Alright. Yep, there's something else, so... I'll tell you about... What was the trade offer? Toulouse, Purcell, and Duchesne? No. Yep, so I'll show the trade offers for Crosby in a little bit. Probably they'll be around 15, 16 by the time I show you, so see you then. Alright guys, so 12 trades for Crosby. Still 22 minutes left, but I saw something that caught my eye in the market. And I'm planning to buy a Shea Weber start of the week for my trade pile. Like, he's a beast. He's not boosted. He's 91 overall. And I'm pretty sure that he's going up in price. Uh, if I can get him for 115k, I think I'll get a steal. So I'll buy it. So in the next 20 seconds, I'll bid on him. And hopefully I can put him on the next trade block. So uh, add some more diversity. So put a bid on him now. So I get him, he's got 34 contracts, change to Leafs, which I like. Because I know there's a lot of Leaf fans that might want Weber. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to get him. Three seconds. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's one person bidding against me. Come on, just let me have this. Okay, 10 seconds left. I hate those people who just bid at the last 2-3 seconds. It makes me so annoyed. Like that, just like that, you know. It says expired. It literally says expired and then jumps back to 20 seconds. You gotta fix that. <sighs> Alright, let's get him. Put him at 115, 500. Alright, so now just a voiceover, uh, I'm just bidding on Shea Weber, I spent a lot of time bidding on him, so um, I just have a set value that I had for him, which was about 120k, uh, my parents walked in into my room right when uh, I was bidding for him, so I had to do the voiceover, and you'll see in a little bit all the movement that happens, there's just a lot of noise in the background, so I thought I would just put a put a voiceover on the clip so yeah right now I'm just bidding for Shea Weber and for the Crosby uh, I think someone DDoSed me right when I was about to sell him there was about two three minutes left and uh, I'll show you the clip after but right now I'm just being on the Shea Weber uh, parents told me to bring groceries in so I had to bid really slowly, but I am going to bump it up right to 120k soon. Uh, may not yet, but... <laughs> yeah, I bump it up here, and I think the guy just finished bidding. I think he also had a set price of 120k, but I picked him up. He is now in my trade pile, so he'll be up for the next trade day. So I'm going to just send him to my trade pile. And yep, he's going to be added to my collection. And yep. Alright, so right here, you can see that I have my Crosby up for 3 minutes left. I disconnect from Xbox Live. And I was so furious that that would, that would happen. I couldn't connect back to my internet. And I was pretty sure someone DDoSed me. But, uh, I swear, I thought I was going to lose my Crosby. Uh, you'll see in a little bit what happens, but... I had to reset my Xbox, start it all up again. Uh, I literally had to, I tried everything in the book. I disconnected my internet, restarted the Xbox, went back to Xbox home. But you'll see right now that I get back into uh, Hockey Ultimate Team. And I was ready to see that 1 million pucks in my uh, puck total, but you can see it didn't go up. 
And I was like, okay, someone's probably bidding on it. I can probably just take my offer. And then, oh yeah, it's not there. And Crosby wasn't sold. It's such a sigh of relief because I did not want to sell him at that point. So from now on, I'm probably going to do the Crosby last five, ten minutes. And I can tell you that the trade offers I got were... Uh, I got a Kovalchuk, start of the week Kovalchuk, start of the week Stamkos. Uh, I got some other players like start of the week Chara, but it was nothing that good in the for the trades for Crosby. So it'll be up for the next trade day, and right here I am uh, buying another player for the trade block because I still have 160k. I like to have as many players as possible in my trade pile. So uh, I did sell the Cavalier. Start, uh, the Star Week version, and I was kind of having my eye on uh, Big Joe, Star of the Week, and I haven't seen that many in the market, but I remember there was one going for 100, 110k, so I was just trying to find if there was a cheaper one. Uh, yeah, and then right now I just see one for 111k put up at an hour, so I see the opportunity, and I just buy one. And I think I got a pretty good steal, even though he was re-released in a pack. Uh, I know that there's a lot of want for Joe Thorne, so I bought him. And he is now in my trade pile, so I'm going to make a trade pile video uh, soon. But I can't even tell you how happy I am that Crosby wasn't sold. Because I did buy him for about 1.3 mil when he first came out. Like, he's probably not worth that much now, but, but yeah. So... Uh, get ready for the next trade day. I'm going to post it up around uh, 12.45, 12.50 a.m. Uh, yeah, so be ready for that trade day. Uh, please like, subscribe if you uh, like the video. And yeah, see you guys. Bye.